All right, I just have a quick word for you guys. Uh, this is out of uh, 1 John 2. Um, I feel like God is really highlighting this portion of Scripture and really this, this entire chapter to us, but specifically verses uh, 3 through 6. So by this, we know that we have come to know him if we keep his commandments. The one who says, I have come to know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever follows his word... In him, the love of God has truly been perfected. By this we know that we are in him. This is how we know. By this we know that we are in him. The one who says that he remains in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked. Just as he walked. Now think about this. Jesus wants you to walk just as like him not kind of like him not like try like oh my best day i walk just like jesus no like he wants you to wake up today and walk just like him he wants you to uh, obey and listen and hear and participate and and function in the power of the holy spirit just like him this is not a, a wishful thinking invitation. This is a design. This is the way he has designed you to function, to be able to hear the word of God, to be able to read his commandment, to be able to listen to the Holy Spirit, what he's telling you to do day in and day out. And he's not telling you to do these things so you could be some kind of robot. He wants, there's an aspect of love and surrender and yielding that he wants you to participate in. And it's the only way that you can walk just like Jesus. Walk as he has walked. Okay? Um, I, I think this is um, an idea, like sometimes we, we create this, this idea in this grace message where, um, you know, you can, you know, God wants to do what you want to do. And I think, yeah, there's some times where like as friends that you and you and Jesus make decisions together. But I think the majority and the more that mature that you get, there's this aspect of like, he's like, no, this is what I have for you to do. And this is what I need you to do to advance my kingdom. And I need obedience. He's not doing it to control you or to make you feel a certain way. He's doing it because it's what's what is best for his name, for his kingdom, and for your life. And I just pray that you would walk into a new level of obedience today. That through obeying his word, his word directly spoken to you, his word in the Bible, his written scripture, his logos, and his rhema. So Father, I just declare, I, I just make a declaration over my own life. God, I want to... Uh, Step into a new level of obedience to walk as you walk. That it's no longer I who live, but you who live in me, Lord. Come on, if that's your prayer this morning, just shout hallelujah. God, you are good. You are worthy to be praised and you are worthy for us to follow you. So I thank you right now for what you're doing in our community in Jesus' name.